and let's go. So howdy boys. <laughs> yeah, howdy boys. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, welcome to my I think that's my final road tutorial. In this case I will show you um, most all of the intersections there are in this game, how you can use um, bridges and curves usually. So let's start with the thing I just have prepared for this tutorial. I think I'm a, I forgot uh, here and there one intersections, but um, I try to uh, make all um, possible uh, intersections in it. So and I will explain how it works. So let's go. And then not just an intersection, also some shapes. Uh, and this will be then the next step. We will use then the, some shapes and some intersection we just learned. We will use this in a grid. Because this is the noob uh, grid. Uh, I prepared a lot of them. So, so I can actually show how to make from this something uh, special. So let's go and start. Let's start with some intersections. So um, the first intersection you have in the game uh, will be an uh, intersection with no stoplights. This is just um, two roads hitting each uh, each other, and uh, as you can see, there will be no stoplight. I call this also a useless intersection. Because in my opinion, this is just useless. Because, uh, as you can see, uh, there is an intersection, no stoplight, and traffic who comes from the right will turn. I do this a lot in real life. Uh, a lot um, is actually a lie, but I do this often in real life. So if I know I have to get um, to to this place, and I have to drive all this way up. Before I can turn around, yeah, I will choose this intersection to turn. But this will cause a lot of fake traffic. Because the traffic will be actually just drive this road and drive back. So useless intersection in my opinion. And you can easily fix that. Just by making a curve out of it. So a lot of people say, oh my god, this game is made for squares. It's a lie. Um, if the game was made for squares, why do you can use curves? Why can you why uh, you can use angles or roads in different angles? And why uh, you can make triangles, circles? So this game is not made for squares. It's optimized for squares because you're starting on a square, and yeah, obviously a square is the best choice, but um, it's not made for just squares. So. In this case here, intersection useless. The, the traffic can turn around, and will use. Uh, you will get a, lo a lot of traffic issues if a lot of cars are turning around. So you can fix that easily with a curve. And you can actually see here how how much trouble the game sometimes has. But it's just a graphic glitch. So I just made um, instead of a useless intersection a curve. In this case, the traffic can be going smooth, so this will help a lot with traffic. So let's go to the next intersection. So this is a T intersection, obviously, it's a T, and that's the first intersection with stoplights on it. And as you know in real life, if you drive to the city, you will always stay at stoplights. And this is how the traffic works here. The most traffic jam you have in the city is because of stoplights. But this is actually the best intersection of all because you just have um, three roads cars coming from the south, cars coming from the east and from the west. So um, if you come from this road it's like in real life. If you want to go straight you can go fast. If you want to make the left turn yeah, you have to wait until nobody comes from here. And same as for the other road. So, and if you come from this part of the road, yeah, you know, right turn is always the fastest way. But there's no, in Germany, uh, we have um, uh, additional signs. So, if you stay here on a red stoplight and there is a, a green arrow, you can even drive to a red stoplight if nobody comes from left. So, this will help, but yeah, it's not impl implemented in the game. So, 
most of the traffic uh, from this road has to wait a little bit longer. So cars who want to go straight from right to left or from left to right have always a little advantage. So this traffic will go smoother here on this side. And here a little bit, yeah, like no, they have to turn left and they have to turn right and they have to watch traffic from both sides. But this is yeah, what you learn at your driver's school. So this is a T intersection, useless intersection, a T intersection. And I made a different one here with some angles, but it's actually exact the same. But this is then more for um, yeah for a designer city, so if you use this. But it's actually the same, so those uh, those all work the same. In this case, this one is ten times better than this. So let's go to the next intersection, and the next intersection is a is a X or cross intersection, whatever you call it, and you have four stoplights. So now the traffic comes from all directions, north, south, east and west. And this is the, um, you will have more traffic than on a T intersection. Yeah, it's obviously, it's one road more. And how more roads you have on the intersection with stoplights, how longer you have to wait. Yeah, it's just simple. Just go on uh, on the road and uh, wait on an intersection like this, and then compare it with the waiting time on an intersection like this. So this one actually will go much faster. So, so the best solution that actually came up in the last decade is uh, roundabouts. Because where I live, uh, 10, 15 years ago, there were no, there was no single roundabout in my city. So now. There are hundreds of roundabouts. Okay, it's a little bit too much, but they are now they remove the stoplights and they build roundabouts. So the thing what we actually not can do is uh, yeah, we cannot make a roundabout without stoplights. Yeah, you can do this with low density roads, but um, the game will always um, plop down um, stoplights on medium and high density roads, so you cannot um, get rid of those. But as you can see, now instead of just one cross intersection, we have four T intersections. And every intersection is on a, on a different uh, spot, yeah, north, south, east, west. So, and this will help you a lot, even there are stoplights, because in a roundabout, the traffic uh, goes much more efficient. And this is actually a two way roundabout, so the traffic goes both ways. Normally, uh, if you have a roundabout in your city, it's just um, you can drive the circle in one direction. And mostly it's because we are driving on the right side of the road. It's going uh, not clockwise, it's going the other way around. But here in this case, we have actually two. So this helps us a lot. And in my opinion, this is 10 times better than any of those intersections here we saw before. So if you can, Try to build a roundabout, yeah, you will lose some space. Especially on the small maps, it's not really helpful, yeah. So make the roundabout at least, um, so this size. So the size of high density, don't make it smaller. Because then uh, you see actually how much um, stoplights we have on this. Do you want to play together? Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand this question, sorry, uh, you have to re-try um, it, so uh, can you please uh, ask the question a little bit different? Do you want to play together? Is this a rhetorical question? Yeah, I think it is a rhetorical question. So, uh, a rhetorical question is a question you ask, but you already know the answer, and all of the other people know the answer, and this is the thing I had the most rhetorical question, so please um, try to ask me a little bit different. So I go ahead with my tutorial, and um, a lot of things to explain, so yeah, I will not answer rhetorical questions. So. The only thing uh, what is here a little bit annoying is that you have so many stoplights on uh, on this small square, but because of the roundabout and everything is equal, um, the traffic will actually go left or right. Yeah, instead of just um, one intersection, 
We have now actually um, three intersections for each. So if they go left, they go to the next, then they go left or straight. So we, we split the traffic. We split the traffic with a roundabout. So uh, the next roundabout will be done with avenues. And mostly this is th those are the most efficient roundabout. Oh yeah, I totally forgot um, uh, to say this. Uh, it's actually the same here, but with the avenue, but in this case, uh, the traffic on the avenue mostly has a, bit, a little bit uh, priority, but it's the same, I guess. So. so now we have a T, an X, and a roundabout. So the next thing you can actually do is bridging. Yeah, bridging. So this is actually um, the same. What I did here is actually the same like this. Yeah, two roads um, connecting each other. But in this case, I made it uh, the road longer, as you can see. So now the traffic comes from here. It's a longer road. Yeah, it will lose some space, but this is the same like uh, two roads connecting each other, but with a bridge. This will actually help you a little bit more because uh, the traffic can, at this point, the traffic can choose um, two directions. So they can go left or right. So this is actually more advanced than just um, connecting two roads. So this will help you a lot because, um, as you can see, the road is like longer. You can handle more traffic here. Okay, that will be stoplight. But because of the bridge, um, yeah. Traffic will actually, uh, you can handle more traffic on it, so. Next one uh, is this. It's actually the same like this, but uh, then a little bit different. As you can see, in this case, no stoplights at all. And we can actually build something in it here, a, a screw or something else. So, uh, this is actually how we avoid intersection. And yeah, it's like, uh, it's like this. No intersection at all. Just a loop. And if you have something like this, you see the length of the road is much longer than um, this one or this one. So you can have actually more traffic on it. So it will help you a lot. So let's go back. Um, next one will be this. Yeah, it's like uh, similar to the T intersection, but um, or in this case, a little bit different than this. So FV combining avenues and um, small, okay, this one actually. So avenues and small road. So as you can see, uh, there is a T intersection here. So traffic will be going left or right. And then we make the next T intersection, but not um, yeah, right next to it, not like this. We make a little bit more space between. And uh, the most important thing always is to have <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Kingdom. Hold on, someone else in the chat. So then I'm like an open region after the tutorial. So Trellaras, uh, even you uh, are welcome then, open region. So... So... I have to finish this here, so... Um, the thing is, let's go back to this one. In real life, you will see there's a lot in your city, and this is called the main street. The avenues are mostly the main street, and then you have a road there, and then the next road um, 100 meters ahead. But remember, what's happened on the main street in rush hour, you will always have a huge traffic jam. It's called rush hour and stop and go. You never will have a green wave here with the stoplights because of the mass amount of traffic. Um, by doing something like this, yeah, you can lure you can lure the traffic around, so they will not all go straight until the intersection they want. They will actually um, take because they cannot go because they cannot go right here. They will immediately go here, right, and then they will use another way to get where they want. Because by uh, making different roads, one going to the left, or one going to the south, one going to the north, one going to the south etc. You can actually um, yeah, handle your traffic better. So, let's go to the next one. The next one is actually called bridges. Yeah? A lot of people don't use bridges. 
<laughs> hey, yeah, howdy everyone. So, the best thing is always to bridge a road, but not uh, every road. Yeah, if you bridge every road, you will create a lot of traffic issues, but I will show you them in, uh, in, the, in the next uh, city and next bar. So, you can actually make a nice uh, bridge over the, over the road, or for example, a tunnel. And this will, um, uh, and in this case, you will have not an intersection, and this is all about making less intersections, making less stoplights, gives you a better flow of traffic. Because, as you can see, there is no freaking stoplight here. Okay, the cars cannot go left or right, so um, they will choose actually a different way. But we'll be next. We'll be next. So. So we have this also here mid avenue with avenues and the thing actually what works for me the best so from my experience is just to bridge every second one so you make a bridge here then you have an intersection there the next will be a bridge and the next will be this intersection then there comes a bridge and an intersection but I will show you in a second so, so this is the bridges so, yeah, as you can see, um, bridges helps with intersections. So, the next thing you can do with bridges, um, in this case, I choose two avenues. And you can, uh, yeah, those two avenues are actually not connected because of the bridge. So, now you can create shortcuts. And this is actually really important shortcuts. Yeah, if you know um, in your city there's a traffic jam, you know a shortcut. Maybe it's not um, really a shortcut, but you will drive around. But in the game it will not really happen that uh, people are driving around. They always try to use shortcuts. Or the fastest way. And so let's create then some shortcuts. And as you can see, um, we connected this one with the top of the road and this one with the bottom. So all the traffic who comes from the right, and I want to go on this avenue, we'll go this way. Oh, actually from the left. And all the traffic who comes from the right and one on the MU will go this way. So you can actually lure the traffic in two directions to the north and to the south. So and there will people and actually will go also on this point in two directions, left or right. So as you can see, those are all T intersections. Just um, a T. Yeah, not a, not a cross like this, just a T intersection. Okay, it looks a little bit weird, but you can actually make instead of a straight road a curve. If the game wanna let us, yeah, you can make a curve, for example. But I just keep it on a straight road. So uh, the next thing, it's actually this one is actually the same like this one. But in this case, I just uh, made a bridge. A lot of people are using this. So instead of um, connecting those uh, roads straight or with a curve, yeah, yeah the game now says it's not possible, but um, who cares? Yeah. But instead of doing this, I made a nice um, curvy bridge. And it's the same like this. Yeah, it's, it's now not looking good. I just made it. I should have actually moved the circle a little bit more to the right. And yeah, that's how you do it here. Yeah. So something like this. I can actually make uh, one here for you. So it's going from there to the bottom. Yeah, I have to now make it bigger. So and then you connect it here and you connect it there. So, uh, so easy it is, just drawing. Yep, roads it is, I'm explaining all the different kinds of roads and then I will play later. So, this one is actually the same like this one, but just with curves and some uh, bridges. Oh, and this will have actually the same effect than this one, but this is actually much more simple to see. So, the next one you can do is this one. Yeah? There comes a road from here, and you can split the road in two. And you can lure the traffic to the left, and you can lure the traffic to the right. 
So, and in the end, yeah, people will actually choose the left or the right way if they want to go left or if they want to go right. And if they want to go into the middle, maybe they will even go both ways. But mostly they choose the shortest way. I think this one is shorter than the other one. But yeah, splitting roads, I will show you then uh, in the next one. So, and the last thing I had here is the three-way stack intersection. Same here, um, we make uh, from one avenue two roads. Actually quite simple, you can do this. Um, hold on, I have to read. Um, some of these look they will greatly reduce uh, from ships here. Dude, you are really smart to telling the audience. Thank you. Um, yeah, you just joined in now, so you did not hear what I said, but um, things like this are much more helpful for traffic, but um, will exactly do what you said. Yeah, that's right. This one actually is a simple one for newbies, for beginners, but they cause a lot of traffic. But this is not why I'm here, I'm just explaining a lot. As you can see, you cannot put anything here, so thank you for telling the obvious. You cannot put anything in the middle, but it's not about um, putting buildings here. It's just all about uh, all kinds of um, connections, intersections, um, reducing traffic with um, things like this, or splitting roads. Yeah, of course, you will lose... Uh, of course, it's obvious that you cannot build anything here, but here you can put everything you want. Yeah, you can here put four um, high density buildings next to it. But thank you for telling the obvious. I think actually there are people who did not know, like you, that just joined in and uh, didn't know, but yeah, that's right. But this one, dude, you cannot put anything in it, but this one is a. Uh... <laughs> good call, good call. Yeah, and this one's why, why I do this. Yeah, um, this is a three, level, a three way stacked intersection. Um, level 1 is the ground floor, level 2 is the smallest bridge, and level 3 is the highest bridge. And because of this, we're going from avenues, and I did this before, and this works fine, it's also on my YouTube, it's called the perfect, the perfect traffic. If you go from an avenue with three lanes, and you split the avenue with the shift button, uh, I can show you, you will actually create eight roads. Two roads on the left, two roads on the uh, um, Actually, from three roads to four road lanes. Eh? Here you have uh, three lanes, and then you split two, four. So, uh, I will show you real quick. Now, the thing is, why people have so much traffic issue, Mr. Jango, is because of their building always this. Yeah? A lot of people are building this. Uh, like uh, in real life, you just will see this on the main street, on the main avenue. On what's happened on the main street in rush hour, you have always a traffic jam. So I'm gonna try, um, yeah, roundabout is always good, no? Just uh, implementing some roundabouts in your city and the traffic is five times better. So, but uh, let's go back to this one, yeah. I just uh, wanna show you how to split. Just you hold the shift button and you're making from Three lanes in each direction, four lanes in each direction. So I have actually more roads now than before. So actually the traffic will be go smoother. Even hey, it's a T intersection also, but in this case it's a Y. <laughs> no, sorry. Especially but with new guys, I'm always a little bit critical. I don't mean it um, because I'm mean, but I, I said yeah, I don't know you. Maybe you're just a troll, but obviously not, so let's go ahead. But um, the three, three way stacked, um, you always find the tutorial how to draw this, but if you want, I can show you easy. Um, the three way stacked intersection will help a lot with traffic, because traffic who comes from here can go to the left one, or can go to the right one on different roads. This will help you a lot with traffic issues. And the same, same actually here, they can go to this one, or they can go to this one. Haha, brachial klamau, was geht ab, mein Junge? So, 
those are um, the most common intersections. Yeah, the user's intersection, yeah, the traffic can turn around, the T intersection, the X or the cross intersection, around about, um, around about and making curves, no intersection actually, and then bridging and tunneling. And like uh, Mr. General said, yeah, this is cost you a lot of space, but this will help you a lot. And if you don't want to lose space, do something just like this. Just will cost you two buildings. Yeah, two buildings of high density. You can put one here and here. But you will not be able to put one here. Yeah, but um, I give you some examples. So the next thing is <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of traffic here. I like it. This game is so stupid. Yeah, the most common shape you guys always see in some city is a square. And here I can actually show you exactly what um, short roads. No? Short roads. Yeah, you see actually how bad the traffic goes. If you put two intersections next to each other. So if you put some intersections, make the next intersection at least here. I show you. I'll try to get a little bit different. So now the intersection is here instead of here. And let's let's take a look how the traffic goes. Yeah. Traffic will be go much smoother because we can handle more traffic on this. It's, it's because of the stoplight. When when in real life do you see? Um, okay, there's no no stoplight here. Awesome. Nah, I, I don't know why there's no stoplight now here, but should be a stoplight. But normally, this is just horrible. Two stoplights next to each other. And in this case, uh, it's the entrance of the city, so they give us no stoplight. So. <laughs> so, Sander, Sander, if you just get the game on Christmas, I would recommend you watch one of my tutorials. Uh, I call it a tutorial for beginners because I'm a little bit more advanced player, as you can see. This is this is more advanced. You need practice for this, Sander. Yeah, this one is actually quite easy to do, and a lot of people, yeah, don't know how to build pitches. So, take a look on my screen on this window, and what's happened if I click? That will be a small text. So M is raised road and N is lower. And I think, yeah, I can put a tunnel here. But um, let's go to the shapes. Uh, there are common shapes you can use for a city. The best thing is a square. This game is made for squares, but um, my favorite is the circle. So then comes the beehive, a hexagon. Then comes the triangle, and then you can make also form like a pentagon or whatever. You will find this all on my YouTube, uh, how I draw the pentagon, how I draw the hexagon, but okay, let's go, let's go. So, um, so I will show you now um, how I can use this, well, all this, in a city. I, I know, I know Black Yard play around. Because you challenged me and I had a lot of headaches um, to do this. But by doing this, my experience and my skill um, raised a lot. Because now I know I can do this now blind. So, so this is um, what I see a lot. I just watched a different scene here on SimCity. It's all you. I can blame you for this. So, um, yeah, mostly. Uh, if you watch some city streamer, you will see something like this. Um, I saw this, another one here. Is he still streaming? I think he is. Let's take a look. Nope. He's not streaming anymore, but mostly you will see this. And if I want to see this, I can uh, give the game to uh, the nephew of my, or the son of my daughter. It's not in the sun <laughs> of my sister, not of my daughter, <laughs> not all. Uh, and he can make this because this is just um, 
Yeah, if you play the game for the first day or the second for the first week, you can build something like this. But then you have to actually advance. So let's start uh, a little bit with advancing. So first of all, um, I said <laughs> um, this is a useless intersection because uh, traffic will turn around, and in real life, I'm making use of that. If I know I have to t can turn around there, I do it. So, ex except uh, it's not allowed. So the thing is that you cannot build a building in that in there. But it's not about all oh, stacking so much buildings. Uh, as you can see, you cannot build a lot of building. Um, let's, let's say you can build 150 buildings. So now we get a little bit less. So now instead of making a straight road, we're making a curve. And immediately it looks a little bit different but better. So now we lose the building here. But in the end, we can save some extra space outside and mostly I recommend something like this. And I saw actually this guy, uh, he had a lot of grids, he had the other streamer, but he had some things um, always to So something like this. So now you can actually put the dump yard here. Okay, you still will lose a little bit, but damn, it looks immediately better than uh, just building, um, I think I better pause it, everything straight, no, everything straight, uh, you can, if you're not new to the game, no problem with that, so this is why I call those newbies, new to the game, you might call all the guys who come new to my stream also newbies, so because you're new, you have to um, earn your, earn your something, whatever, so, but I love this so much, and it looks uh, 10 times better, so we can do this all in all corners, for example. So I'm, sh I'm using the keyboard, if anybody uh, asks what I'm doing, I'm using the keyboard. B for boulders, Shift R for roads. So, let's go ahead. So we have already a little bit, it looks immediately better with uh, no edges on the curves. It's still the great luck, but it looks all better. So I'm the same, you can not just um, plop uh, the garbage dump here, you can put everything here, a power plant. For example, yeah, always check the other way Yeah, you can put a power plant here, but in my opinion, it looks 10 times better if you make it here. So, let's go um, for the next one. So I just explained before that uh, a cross or an X intersection is, is shit because the traffic will come from all ways. Yeah, if you just have a small city, um, it will work. But if you want to go bigger, build some high buildings or some universities or whatever, um, look at the stoplights. Yeah? Look at the freaking stoplights. There are stoplights everywhere. And where in real life do you see a city like this? Yeah. I don't know a city who is looking like this. Just one building and four stoplights for every building? Nah. Come on, guys. Be a little bit more creative. And I actually played a lot of Tetris. So let's, uh, let's start up with um, the Tetris design here. So, as you can see, they're all cross intersections. All roads connecting, or all intersections connecting to four roads. And this is just a horrible traffic scenario. Yeah, okay, even the entrance is just horrible, like I said always. But we can make something out later. So in this case, I will start here. I keep this one because of, of the triangle. So let's start with a sample one. So a lot of people are building blocks like this. But it's actually much better for the traffic. If you make bigger blocks, so you have blocks from the size of 1, 2, 3, and 4. So my experience worked the best. So this is the Tetris block. No, four, 4 blocks. And this is how you can make actually bigger cities. And let's, let's take a look at the stoplights. Yeah, here on the left you see stoplights, 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 stoplights. Stop 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 so, but here, 
he will see immediately less stoplights. So it means it's so straight road, but the traffic can go actually a longer way without stopping. Yeah, as you can see here, no one need to stop. And the next intersection they come, it's not the X intersection now, it's a T intersection. So just three roads. So people who want to go straight, getting faster straight, then uh, that's something like this. Because here you cannot go straight, because there are always cars coming from the right. So as you can see, um, the difference between this road and this road, all about stoplights. And the, the reason why so many people have traffic, traffic issues is the freaking stoplights. So let's go ahead. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Let's make it now one, two, three, four. Hey, it looks immediately a little bit more um, open. This is just a grid log. It's like it looks like it's locked. You cannot escape. So this one I call it. Um, this one is then two, 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 two. Well, I just get it. Yeah, I keep it like this. This one. Let's make it then three, two, three, two. And this one is a four block. And you see immediately by deleting roads what it gives you. Well, for example, this one looks like a stair, but there is yeah, yeah, some some same, but there is now not this gridlock anymore. Let's zoom in and take a look at the stoplights. Less stoplights, you will see a lot of T intersections, and here and there. There is a cross intersection. So this is actually 10 times better than just following a bit like this. And you can actually go until 4. This is my personal experience. <coughs> if I make blocks like this, this will be my industrial park. Even I will lose some space here because um, I think uh, maybe 3. We is the perfect size for industrial park, but mostly I don't mind industrial park, just a block like this and the traffic is gone. But yeah, you have to split your industrial park with an avenue. Because there will be a lot of traffic, so... Let's go ahead with some other designs. So now I'm going just for the two block design. In my opinion, it's still too small, but this will work fine actually. So, um, what we what we actually do is we make just T intersection everywhere. So if you have just three roads where the traffic can go or where the traffic can come from, there will be less traffic instead of four roads. Four roads will be more traffic. Three roads less traffic. Obvious. So, and, uh, yeah, and, and remember, where do you see this? It's called the brick wall. So, um, let's make one more then, you can see it better. But an improvement like this, by deleting walls, will give you actually more space. You can make it a, a little bit more efficient, because now we're giving a little bit space away. But by, now, by deleting walls, building less walls, less stoplights, less intersections. Okay, it's not really less intersections, but um, you know what I mean with uh, less intersection. This will help you your traffic, will make your city look cleaner, nicer, not like this. And you can actually do a lot of things. As you can see, you can improvise. You can actually also go um, straight if you want. Or if you really like tattoos, you can actually do something like this. Two tattoos blocks next to each other. So you can actually buy the leading roads from the gridlock, making um, more open cities. And now you can actually maybe uh, put some bigger buildings in like um, like this one. But still, um, this one is actually still shit. When do you ever see a, a bus station, a bus terminal, with four roads around it? You will never see it. It's mostly something like this. 
And then you have some space left and right. So let's go ahead. Let's make it a little bit more funky. And even this will work. I have a tattoo city with 600k, so I just made a lot of tattoos blog. Now let's go ahead with tattoos. I love tattoos. You can actually have so much fun by building cities. So I'm just playing tattoos now. I try to implement a lot of Tetris blocks, hopefully I can get it. So it's the big one, this is the L one. And by deleting the roads, you see, okay, the traffic can now not take the shortcut anymore. So they have to drive another way. But now by um, removing all the stoplights, the traffic will eventually go faster. And uh, if they just have the, the, the choice to go left or right, so they cannot go straight anymore, yeah, that was, the traffic will split in two directions. Yeah, not entirely, but it depends where commercials, etc. is. Um, next one, yeah, next one can be this one. Let's make them the same one here. Let's make an L here. And by building things like this, I think you will be actually able to put a mega tower in it. And this will not make your traffic worse, it will make your traffic actually better. Yeah, mega towers fit not in easily. And eventually, if the city grows, your city will actually look much better. Um, if you have something like this, just um, one building. Do we can, can we do a next one? Yeah, I can do it like this. I need a little bit more money here. And that's, that's just looking crap. A road between every building, just my opinion. But, um. Things like this will help you a lot with traffic. So, um. Next thing will be bridging. So, I give you a little heads up about this bridging. So, um. How can we do this? Yeah, simple. Just destroy a road. Going for straight roads. But still, uh, I'm using now the small gridlock and uh, this is actually not um, the best shot. So by bridging this, we um, just killed some stoplights. No stoplight. We are still able to put down our buildings. So this will work. So, um, so but how can we go next? Uh, the traffic now comes here. And uh, uh, the cars who want to go to this road have to go left or right to reach the road. But how can we use uh, more bridges to um, disconnect more um, or to delete more stoplights? Let's go for this one. Yeah, that's always something. It's just a tutorial for this one. So next one, it'll be this again. Oh, I can actually go ahead like this. Next one, it'll be this again. So try always to bridge every second. You can make uh, maybe every third. It's also possible. But by doing this, I will do one more bridge here then, and actually four. For the small roads, um, three blocks of the road is actually more than enough. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you can actually already bridge it over. So let's um, let's follow then my mouse. Yeah, let's check out the traffic. Hey, it would be nice to build a gridlock with a lot of bridges. This is very really nice. Yeah, you still can build all your buildings, so you don't want to really lose something. But um, how does it work? So this road now, in the middle, is actually not connected at all. So this is just a straight road until here. So all the traffic, and you can actually not build any building here on those bridges. So all the buildings will be somewhere else. Like, um, yeah, on this road, on this road, 
or on this road. So where there is a bridge, you cannot build a building. But by removing all those stoplights, yeah, you see, they can actually drive a little bit further before they come to a stoplight. So, so this one is now a road they not can build a single building. Same for the bridges. So um, you can actually use this road as a highway. So the car is just driving from left to the right. This is just a long road with no stoplight. So this is called a shortcut. By bridging every second road here. Hey, spotty, long, long time no see. By bridging this road and also this one, we create here a shortcut. Before, before this, there was not a single shortcut. So, and for example, if cars come in here and they want here, they have to go right. Just so now more traffic goes more to the right. So, if people want to get here, and normally they would maybe use this way, but now they have to use this way. So this is how you lure the traffic a little bit around. You have less stoplights. Yeah. This is it. So and I think let's have a, like a look how long did, did I actually record. Yeah. I'll call this now a day. So I hope you learned a lot. Yeah, and gridlock. Gridlocks always sucks. Gridlock is what uh, for beginners. So deleting roads, creating some Tetris um, shapes or a brick or whatever or curves. And the next uh, the next part of the tutorial, I will show you the crazy intersections, but I will make it tomorrow. So thanks for watching and enjoy.